Thank you for time and coming over. It's good to see you. And always when you meet, right? Always it's good to know a lot of new things. How are the things with you? Good, good. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to reconnect. This pandemic era has been a bit rough on all of us. And one can't lose sight of the people dimension. Exactly. But how do you see like post-pandemic, the working culture? It's completely changed, right? Before, how do you see like... Do you see that digital transformation is progressing like a decade fast or how do you see that? You know, it's really amazing because none of us could predict what we might call a black swan event. We didn't see this coming. Even reading the news, we didn't realize where this was going to go. And companies didn't realize what their needs would be as we've gone through this pandemic era. All of a sudden, they had to be re-geared and all their people fully available to work remotely. And it's caused the exposure of challenges in the workplace, how data flows, documents get shared, how work collaborates in the environment when we've removed the particular in-person areas. And it's caused, in my mind, a dramatic escalation acceleration in where we were probably going anywhere. Uh, I agree. I agree. And uh, how do you see the productivity? Because earlier people used to come to office, we used to do face-to-face -face meeting. Now, it's probably 9,500% remote work. And with this acceleration, how do you see, do you see change in productivity? So I think that people have kind of had to merge some of their personal with work and they've learned to interleave it a little bit. Uh, social ability to connect with co-workers has been brought under pressure as well because there isn't any more uh, having a drink at the water cooler or a cup of coffee with your co-workers. But I think the most important thing that surfaced is companies didn't realize some of the challenges in collaboration was papered over by having a nice office. But now that people are remote, all of a sudden the pain points became more obvious. You couldn't go down the hall to the IT guy. It's just harder to chat with someone at the end of a meeting. And it's forced companies to shine a light and revisit things that were um, a little more difficult in their online systems. True, and especially with your background of chef, being a SharePoint architect and all, and SharePoint is a good tool which is probably one of the handy tool in such kind of situation. How do you see SharePoint contributing to this transformation? Well, SharePoint as a collaboration tool was always there, but now the needs within the organization have accelerated into a much higher gear. And management within many companies have come under pressure from people when they can't get their work done, when there are obstacles to it. And it's caused companies to reallocate to collaboration systems. SharePoint's just one of them. We have video collaboration issues. We talked earlier today about digital signing of documents. So Signet was ahead of its time on that, for example. And companies have reallocated and focused on solving these problems for their key knowledge workers and creating a, a more comfortable environment that's more satisfying for their knowledge workers. It's almost like it's upside down. Who works for who? The company works to keep their workers, knowledge workers, engaged, productive, and satisfied. I completely agree with you what you talk about. We saw that down the line, we'll have everything coming up online or remotely. So we worked on the digital signature part. We have the same way we did our RPA, our automation product line also. Uh, more about the SharePoint. I see a lot of companies are doing migration projects from on-prem to cloud, seeing that the remote stuff and all. Can you share some more about it? What are the benefits and why, how do you see the trend on that? Well, long before the pandemic struck, um, companies had seen that they need to move off of file shares and that has accelerated. They wanted to be in an environment that allowed for easier collaboration and they started to get a glimpse that it's not just I open a document and edit it, but I have a team of people 
who do different parts of documents. Some review, some approve, some share. Some sharing goes on with, say, outside counsel. So there's a larger use case around both document management and collaboration. At the same time, Microsoft has invested heavily in their cloud version, Office 365, so companies are under pressure to move in that direction. And we've seen a surprising number of migration efforts as companies look to shut down the old systems that just accrue endless documents that no one can find anything in and move to an environment that makes their workers more productive. I can't agree anymore because I have seen a lot of migration projects coming up where the different uh, <clears throat> technologies or tools people would like to go to online SharePoint. Uh, any other input for organization, how to deal with current situation post-pandemic era? Any input from you? Well, it's good to look at the overall productivity um, comprehensively across the enterprise. It's not about any one tool, but it's about how they all can work together and the, the com user community can work without a great deal of support and they're productive. Um, we're seeing more demand for workflows within their processes. You mentioned different kinds of robotic automation and these are all part of the progression as uh, organizations really accelerate their efforts to improve the efficiency of their workers, the larger use cases, and view it holistically, and not just how do I edit a document, but how does a whole department function more productively and efficiently? And that touches on many different technologies. True, it's very insightful information. Thank you, Joel, for your time, and I appreciate coming over to our show and spending your time with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.